So let's say you wanted to add a video or audio media to a slide deck. If you go up to insert, you have both options, audio or video. I'm going to use video. And it automatically allows you to enter videos from YouTube or if you know the specific URL for the video or if it's just a video that you have stored on your Google Drive, uh, you can add those as well. I'm going to add a video from YouTube and I'm just going to grab the link. I already have it open. So I grab the link. Yes, that's the video. Select. And it inserts the video. Now the nice thing about this is even though it's a video, you can control the size using these blue sprites again. All right, so you can shrink this and make it small if you want. Uh, you can move it over uh, and make it larger if you'd like it to be bigger. And then once you do that, you've got a few other options. On the right hand side, uh, you can control when the video plays. Uh, does the person viewing the slide deck have to click on it in order to get it to start? Does it play automatically? Um, or does the person literally have to start by pushing the play button? Uh, that would be manual. You can have it start at a specific time, end at a specific time. This is really useful if there's something you want to your students to view in the video, but it's not the whole video. Uh, if you can pick out when it starts and when it ends, you can set that in the slide deck itself, uh, and that will be the only part of the video that gets displayed. Or if there's something you want them to see in the video, but you don't need to hear any audio over it, uh, maybe the person is talking about something and students don't need to know what they're talking about, you just want them to see what's going on, you can mute the audio as well. And those are some creative ways that you can take advantage of video in your slide decks.